guys. So today we're going to do a little ASMR science uh, project experiment. Something you can do for fun or if you have kids. And it's really simple. You only need um, a few things that you can find in your house already. So I'm going to go over the things you'll need. So first, like most things, you'll need a scissor. You'll need food coloring, just your basic colors. You can use really any color that you want, but at least three colors I'd recommend. So I have blue, red, green, and yellow. You will need water, depending on how many you do. You'll need some clear plastic cups. You can use this size, or you can use a bigger size, or uh, those little cocktail cups work just great. And you'll need some paper towel. This is to um, go inside the cups, you'll see. Um, you leave a Thing, the only thing you need the scissors for is to cut your paper towel uh, to fit your cups and you'll need something to stir your food coloring into your water and I just happen to have some uh, wooden dowels but you can use a spoon so, once you have all of your supplies you can get started if you're interested in finding out how to do this project, just keep watching. So, the first step is to get out your clear plastic cups and line them up in a row, like so. I've gone ahead and done seven cups. You can do as many as you'd like. The next step I've prepped beforehand. It involves the paper towels, but I'm going to show you how to do them. So what you'll need is your paper towel. You're going to fold it in half. So, then fold it in half again. Then one more time, fold it lengthwise. So it's long and skinny. to bend it in half. Now this is the part where, depending on the size of your cups, you'll need your scissor. So if you had a shorter or taller cup than these, most times shorter, unless you have really long paper towels, you would just trim a bit off the end so they fit your cups. Go ahead and get a stack of those ready. They're going to be your water bridge of sorts. Let's get to the fun part. So grab your water and you're going to fill every other cup with your water. Now the two on the outside, 
will need a bit more excuse me, a bit less than the ones on the inside um, you can still do them about the same but uh, definitely do these a bit more so you start on the outside and pour your water to about yay high skip a cup next cup fill it up just a bit more and place it back Make sure your cups are best friends, so let them touch, let them be more than best friends. Your next cup, you can do it about the same as this cup. So. Skip a cup and do this one the same as the first. Now this is the fun part. Get your stir spoon or whatever ready. I'm going to get my little wooden dowel salt This will be what I stir with And let's color our water So, you can make this as concentrated I'm going to start with red Right here so. I'm going to try like three drops I think We'll see how color pigmented it gets to do the cup on the outside red as well so four drops one two three four and mix mix like Kool-Aid just tastes like food diet, water. That's my educated guess. So next I'm going to take handy dandy yellow and I'm gonna make this cup look like pee by someone who doesn't drink a lot of water. So I'm just gonna go in. This yellow is not that concentrated of a color. I'm going to use the side of the towel. So here is our yellow. There I go. And the last color I'm going to use blue. And uh, so when these water bridges cross, You'll see the mixing of the primary colors. So let's just make this a pretty 
glue. Okay, like so. Always good to have food coloring on hand. It seems a lot of these projects use food coloring. So if you have children who get bored, just go ahead and do that. next step involves our bridges that we made. So what you're going to do is take your bridge of sorts and you're going to connect them like this. Dipping one into a cup, the other into the next. It's like sticking your one foot in the pool to see if it's cold and repeat the steps like so this is really fun it reminds me of um, there was this show I watched as a kid called Zoom, and they would always do such cool, like, science projects. So, I'm like the adult Zoom now. <laughs> okay. So, we got a cool little water bridge. So, connect it, and it should look just like this. Nice, pretty, but nothing's happened yet, right? Well, the next part is the least fun part. You need to round up the kids or yourself and occupy yourself for, um, well, two to three hours. And when you come back, you should have a magical, beautiful water rainbow bridge experiment. So, by the power of editing. You'll see what it looks like after this. So guys, after a couple hours, you can see that our rainbow of water bridge has been achieved. The red and blue met to make purple, yellow and blue, they met to make green, and red and yellow meant to make orange. You'll see that the water actually transferred from this cup to this cup, from this cup to this cup, to this cup, to this cup, to this cup. So it's a cool little experiment. It's pretty fun to do. It took a bit of time. Um, but you can see that it did a cool little rainbow. I really liked doing this for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. Hope you found it relaxing and tingly. So, I'll see you in the next upload. And I love you guys. Bye.